my first impressions were, whoa, where am I? <laughs> we're just seeing my first tuk tuk and being like, ah, like I'm here. I, I finally made it to Thailand and uh, I was just so filled with excitement. There's lots of little moments where you could have first impressions, I think, but overall, um, just how laid back everything is. It just kind of felt like a place where we could do anything. Okay, a lot's going on and I've got a lot to learn. <laughs> yes, I can. Do you want me to right now? Mm -hmm. Song. Song. C. Ha. Hulk. Jet. Bat. Gow. C. Definitely different culturally. I love Idaho, but it's not as diverse of a place. And so coming to Thailand and experiencing a different language, different culture and every aspect of that. There's things called song towels and tuk-tuks running around. It's just very different. Portion sizes. I have to say 100% portion sizes. Well, I had kindy throughout the day if, if I taught them big and small and they would come up to me with something big and something small and they would repeat the words and that to me was just so amazing because it made me feel like they're listening, they're understanding and you know it makes me feel like okay like they are learning something even though that we can't have a conversation they're getting something out of this. That to me is amazing. I think my favorite thing about teaching is, and this sounds a little bit cliche, but it, it's just seeing the smiles on, on your kids' faces and knowing that you had a part in like putting them there. That's one thing that really made me stay in Thailand is that um, I kind of, uh, I, I, I want to be as humble as possible here, but I kind of became an expert on being a foreigner in Thailand and I wanted to help others have the same level of success that I had. Um, as well as, uh, I've been having a lot of fun, and uh, I want to continue having that fun. So, you know, it's, uh, so it's been a good ride, and I'm, I'm not ready to get off the pony yet, so to speak. Well, the people <laughs> made me want to stay in Thailand. They're so accommodating and helpful, and literally they will take the shirt off their backs for you. I couldn't believe. <laughs> so... I don't know. Thailand to me is just very welcoming. You know, everybody just smiles all the time and it's really fun and Thailand has really become my home over the past year. I really like Gang Ma. Good job. Jai Yen. And Jai Yen means um, cool heart. It means like a uh, tranquilo, chill out, you know. Why could I? So up to you. By Gunther, which means let's go. To do it, 100%. What's that, what's that saying? Like, you only regret the things that you don't do. Easier said than done, but being completely open minded and just trusting the journey and knowing that everything's gonna be okay, there's gonna be struggles, but that once you get through those and you reflect on them, that you're gonna find value in it in ways that you never realized would be there. So, kind of having faith in yourself through your time in Thailand, I think is the most important thing. Do it, 100% do it. Come to Thailand or come overseas or wherever you wanna go. It's, it's one of those experiences where you just can't get it anywhere else. If I had seen Pudding's face, I, I know I would've come a lot earlier. Thank you.